Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you are well. So today's video is a history video on my favourite historic dramas and TV shows to watch. Now, I have compiled this list down to five, um, but there are enough of my kind of favourites or ones that I really like to watch um, that I could do another video for you. And there are also enough of historical documentaries that I own and really like watching if you would like those videos as well. So if you want kind of another one of these or if you want one about documentaries, let me know in the comment section down below and I can do those for you. So let's get straight into it. So one of my first kind of historical, this is a TV show that I really like to watch, is something that you're going to think, what on earth, you like to watch this show? Yes, yes I do. And it's The Tutors. <laughs> I own series one, two and three. Now, The Tutors for me, yes it has some historical boo-boos, it does, and I'm not even going to talk about the costumes because... And The Tudors is, is something that contains sex and it contains a lot of kind of blood and gore. It's basically one of those shows. But there's two things about the Tudors that I think it does really well and I really condone them for it. So, um, the first is Sir Thomas More. Sir Thomas More, in, in, in kind of films and, and TV shows, is something that uh, he's missed out so much and so is his daughter. And the relationship between Henry VIII and Sir Thomas More was was incredible. He was he was like a father figure to him. He, he he was a teacher of his. You know, he he was one of these people that called him Harry. He didn't call him Henry. You know, he was on real kind of close personal terms. And I think in the show they really show that. I mean, it is it is terrific acting. I have to say they've they've got a really good actor playing him. And you know, it's nice to see that. And it's also nice to see the effect that the execution of Sir Thomas More had on Henry VIII and, and he, he kind of becomes haunted by him. I thought that was a brilliant uh, piece of drama to put in there. And the second thing I think the Tudors actually does really well is Anne Boleyn. Now, Anne Boleyn is played by Natalie Dormer. I think that Anne Boleyn is, is someone that is really hard to play. I think she's so difficult to play um, because you've kind of got to have this this air of mystery around you, but, but you've got to come off as someone that's very real um uh, uh, just kind of like a normal a normal woman but it's kind of aiming higher and achieving it and you've also got to have this relationship with henry VIII that's believable you don't want a relationship that you think no 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 that's not real and i think that's done quite well here you know i do kind of believe that there is a type of relationship here not necessarily the relationship that i think actually went on between the real Henry and Anne, but still I, I can feel a connection. But for me, the thing that they do really well in this is her death scene. Now her death scene is actually done over an entire episode. It's not like five minutes have been slotted in. It's, it's done over an entire episode. And I don't think I've ever watched something that has been done so respectful and so dignified and so beautiful. It was done amazingly well. And for all the, the boo-boos that the Tudors have, the death scene was just incredible. And if you've kind of been put off watching the Tudors, watch it just so that you can build up to that final episode of the end of series two, um, because it's amazing. And I cry all the time watching that, but it's believable and it's incredible. It's fantastic acting, but it's lovely. And yeah, just go watch it for that really. Moving forward in time and now on to a film, I have The Young Victoria. This is with Emily Blunt in it and I really like this one. If you've never seen it before, it is literally The Young Victoria. She is um, a princess and it's her rise to becoming queen because of course she's kind of one of the descents of the Hanoverians, the, the Georgians, whatever you want to call them. It's kind of her rise to power entangled in the beautiful love story of her and Albert and it's really nice and it's affectionate and it's a it's one of these films that you watch and then after you've watched it you don't feel like really heavy or really drained you just feel oh that was a lovely story so I, I recommend this one. Back to the Tudor period now but sticking with film and it is Lady Jane. This has a very very young Helena Bonham Carter um, when she's playing the teenage Lady Jane and oh 
I mean, Lady Jane Grey, the story itself is really sad. And this is one that really does kind of get your emotions whirling up. There aren't many films out there about Lady Jane Grey. And this one, I have to say, yes, there are some historical inaccuracies, as there will be in anything. But it's emotional and that's what you want with Lady Jane Grey, you, you want to feel the emotions. It's a sad story, it's a very sad story, but I think it was done very well. Next is the most recent one I actually have, um, and that is Belle, and this has a fantastic cast in it. It has Miranda Richardson in it, and I love Miranda Richardson. It also has um, Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy in this too. And Belle, if you haven't watched it, is about um, a young Georgian woman. Her name is Dido Elizabeth Bell. And as you can see, she is um, of mixed race and her father leaves her with um, her, well, his aunt and uncle, so her great aunt and uncle. And there she is brought up, not as the woman that she should be brought up as with her, with her status, with her, her father's status and her, her money and things like that, but she's brought up as a companion for... <laughs> For Elizabeth who already lives at the house um, and it's quite sad in a way but it's actually quite funny in another because it's it's thing it's basically saying George in England what on earth are you doing you are ridiculous because we have this young woman here who she she says really brilliantly I, I'm too high to die with the servants but I'm too low to dine with my family and it's ridiculous and it's stupid but it's it's quite you know, George in England, what were you doing, basically? And it's a lovely story, and it's a true story, so you should go and watch this. And last up in this video, I have The Virgin Queen, featuring Anne-Marie Duff and Tom Hardy. This is another TV series that was on from the BBC, and this is a four-part series. This was on on a Sunday evening, so this made my Sunday evening. Um, this is fantastic. It starts where Elizabeth is in the tower and her sister Mary is queen, and it's kind of what's going on all the way up to her death. Um, something that is done fantastically well is the relationship between her and Robert Dudley because of course we have Tom Hardy and you know what? It feels believable. It feels like she's trying to work out does he want her because he wants to have that kind of rulership as a king? Um, is, he, is he having those aims or does he want to be with her because he loves her as the woman? Um, yeah, it's a beautiful story and I don't think that many people talk about this. Now, I own the DVD, I also own the soundtrack because the music's beautiful and yes, again, there are some historical boo-boos and some things that I would change but overall, I love this and I cry all the time at this, all the time. <laughs> ever since like it came out like 10 years ago I still cry at it it's yeah it's beautiful and amazing so I hope you enjoyed this little video if you did let me know in the comments section down below um, let me know if you've watched any of these or if you plan to watch any of these in the future or if you have any recommendations for me now I do own quite a few um, that I haven't kind of featured in this video but I'm always up to some new suggestions as I said at the beginning if you do want me to do um, a kind of sequel video I have enough for that or if you want me to do a favorite documentaries I can do that for you too so take care for now and I shall see you soon for my next video bye